Welcome to my lab. I'm Drew Collip. Today in the lab, we're going to be doing a protein standard curve. We're going to use a Bayerette test as it binds to the proteins or peptides and changes color. As you can see, the blank shows that Bayerette itself is blue without any proteins or peptides in solution. As we add more protein, you can see the color changes to a more purple color. In this lab, I will demonstrate adding protein to the Bayerette reagent, and you can see the colorimetric reaction. We will then use a Genesis 30 spectrophotometer, and we will use the highest concentration BSA we created, which is 10 milligrams per mil. We will create an absorption spectrum for this, the protein in the Bayerette test, and we will determine what the Amax is for this particular solution. Using this maximal absorbance, we will then perform a standard curve. We've done a number of dilutions, we will read off the percent transmittance from the spectrophotometer. We will do a conversion from percent transmittance to absorbance using A equals two minus the log percent transmittance. We will then use this data to create a standard curve graph with concentration BSA along the horizontal axis and absorbance along the vertical axis. We will plot our data points on this graph, connecting it with a nice straight line. Following that, a colleague of mine prepared two unknown samples. I will then attempt to determine what the concentration is. I was told it is below 10 milligrams per mil. Let's begin by observing what happens when we add protein to the Bayerette reagent. Here we have protein in this pipette. We add it to the Bayerette reagent, mix thoroughly. You can see it changes from a blue color to a purple color. The standards we will use today are BSA, bovine serum albumum. It is a protein found in cow serum. We have diluted down samples from 10 milligrams per mil all the way down to 0.625 milligrams per mil as our standards. The blank, we just added distilled water to the Bayerette reagent. The protocol itself involved adding half a mil of our standards or our unknowns, or water for that matter, to 2.5 mils of Bayerette reagent. We mixed and we incubated at room temperature for 30 minutes prior to using the spectrophotometer. We can attempt to determine the concentration of the unknowns just by comparing the standards to the unknown itself. Here we have unknown A. You can see it's quite light in color. We can move it along. It is definitely not on the 10 milligram side. It looks like it might be down here. It's in the lower concentration. We can do the same with unknown B. Here, it's quite a bit darker. It's closer to 10 milligrams per mil, so maybe somewhere between 10 and five milligrams per mil. The use of the spectrophotometer we'll use to determine what the actual absorbance is. We can do this quantitatively. We will begin with doing the automated scan on the Genesis 30 to determine what the Amax is. To do that, we will take our water sample to blank for the absorption spectrum, distilled water. Place it into the machine, close the door, and it says press the blank button. It is the yellow button. We press that and it starts off. What it's doing now, it's blanking every wavelength we've selected. It can take some time to blank the entire range you've selected. However, it will provide data points for every wavelength along the way, much faster than going through and doing it one at a time, collecting it that way. Almost done. It now says present your sample. We will remove the water we will take the highest concentration BSA, 10 milligrams per mil, place that into the cuvette holder, and press the play button right here. You can actually see it happen in real time. You can see the wavelength from a high number going down to low numbers, and it's recording the absorbance. Here it appears there's a large change in absorbance. It's actually very small numbers. It appears to be large. Now it looks like it's taking off. 
800 nanometer wavelength, still rising. You can see the, the scale changes on the side, going up, we're looking for a plateau. Dropping down, and then it looks like it's leveling off again. A little spike there at the end. Once complete, the data remains on the screen. Let's find the Amax by moving the cursor over. You can see we can move along wavelengths. The absorbance is going up. 0 0.540 appears to be our maximal absorbance. Let's find the exact wavelength. Move the cursor back and forth. It appears 552 nanometers is the Amax for this particular sample. If you want to, you can offload that data every point onto a USB drive. Select the Save button with the cursor. Select Transfer to USB. And then press OK. We will now switch the device to Live Display Mode. From our absorption spectrum, we determined 552 nanometers was the Amax. We plug it in here. We must now blank it. Here we're going to use our blank, which is the Biuret reagent with just water. Test tube, place it inside, and press the yellow blank button. It now blanks the sample. This would be 100% transmit. We take our next sample, 0.625 milligrams per mil BSA, place it inside, close the door, you can read off directly. Wait for it to stabilize. We remove it and continue on with the rest of the standards. Placing it into the machine, closing the door, waiting for it to stabilize and recording this into our laboratory notebook. Our last standard now goes in, 10 milligrams per mil BSA. Read off that last value, and now we have all the data to make our standard curve. We will plot concentration on the horizontal axis and absorbance on the vertical axis. Now our unknown, unknown A, the lighter colored one. Place it inside, close the door, wait for it to stabilize, 89.8 appears to be our value for unknown A. Unknown B now. The darker colored one, wait for it to stabilize, 42.3. Now plot that on your standard curve and determine what the concentration of the unknowns are. Until next time.